I'm Selwyn Richardson. I'm a soil scientist. I'm with ADAS. I've got 40 or more years experience behind me of working in the field as a soil scientist. Right, now cultivations is the key to good soil management. And good cultivations, it really starts in the previous crop. So for this whole seed rape, it started, good soil management started back in last year's winter wheat crop. At the time of cereal harvest, do your best to keep the minimum of pressure on the ground. Combine harvesters, ideally big wide tracks, low ground pressure uh, wheels, low ground pressure tyres on the trailers, wide tyres, low ground pressure. Do the minimum amount of compaction on the field that you possibly can when you're harvesting the previous crop. If you can manage it, it's a good thing to keep the grain trailers up on the headland. Not always easily done, but if you can keep the grain trailers off and just empty into the trailer on the headland, that keeps away a fair bit of compaction from the land. Then after that, when you come to cultivations, the secret is do the least you can jolly well get away with. Here, this is chalky boulder clay. On this land, more and more nowadays, farmers are moving away or have moved away from traditional ploughing and are going for minimum cultivation or at least non-inversion cultivations. Now, non-inversion cultivations or minimum cultivations. This involves using discs or tines instead of the plough. So instead of completely turning over the soil, the soil is just loosened, possibly to 10 to 15 centimetres, that sort of depth. Ploughing may be necessary occasionally, depending on whether black glass is a problem. So perhaps ploughing every four years, something like that may be necessary. Otherwise, a, a, a spring crop can help to control the black grass. Here on Chalky Boulder Clay, it's, it's really autumn planting cropping that matters. Winter wheat, winter rape, winter beans, perhaps in favourable springs, uh, spring barley, uh, peas, linseed, that sort of crop may be put in, but basically it is autumn cropping. On this sort of land, shallow cultivations with discs and tines, keeping all the wheels on the surface, if you can do that and carry out the work to a very very large extent within with dry conditions then you aren't going to cause compaction in the soil in any case that way you can get away the minimum amount of uh, disturbance the seed bed good seed bed can be produced roots can get through that seed bed the roots can then get way down into the subsoil problems will come if you have to plow this land and you plow it in wet conditions if you're plowing in wet conditions with a wheel in the bottom of a furrow say 20 centimeters down it will cause compaction in wet conditions the compaction on heavy land like this tends to not go deeper than about 30 centimeters that's about a foot on really light soils compaction can tend to go deeper it can go down 14 15 inches you know or possibly 35 even slightly more centimetres depth. If you have caused compaction down at depth below that top 20 centimetres, it's important to get a subsoiler in and bust up that soil to slightly below the level of compaction. Now a spade is a jolly good tool. After harvest, get a spade out, see if any of your fields need subsoiling. If they do, get a subsoiler in. But otherwise, if you aren't causing compaction, you don't get subsoiling, you don't need to. One final comment, organic matter is important. Organic matter is very important in the soil and yet nobody knows how much it is worth. On heavy land, organic matter helps to make cultivation a little bit easier. It helps to improve the drainage. On light soil, organic matter helps to improve the water holding capacity of the soil so that drought is more, uh, crops are more tolerant of drought in a dry season. And whatever soil you're on, earthworms are encouraged and Soil biological bact activity, bacteria, fungi and all the, all the other little wiggy things that live in the soil, they're all encouraged by organic matter. Organic matter is good stuff. Get hold of it wherever you can. Instead of selling off your straw from your land, or well, if you sell off your straw to your neighbouring pig farmer or livestock farmer and you take it back as muck, yes, that's a good thing. But selling off straw and not putting anything back in the way of organic matter, I can't help thinking is a bad thing. Nobody knows how much it is worth, but organic matter is worth a lot of money. And if anything, compost seems to be the longest lasting organic matter. 
By all means, livestock manures, sewage sludge, compost on land. They all add organic matter. Of these, the research shows that compost puts in the longest lasting organic matter. But any form of organic matter on your land is a good thing.